guys and welcome to the replay. I'm cracking up laughing because the project that I plan to do, like, over the next few days, um, wound up being done tonight by one of my girlfriends, one of my friend designers, and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should push it off now. And, you know, people were like, no, 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 go, go, go. But I want to show you what inspired mine. I, I want to bring on what inspired mine because it's just too funny, like, how... People have similar ideas, and that's the fun part of Chalk Tour. So let me uh, see who all is coming in. Don't mind me. I'm a hot mess. I was hanging out at my brother's house. They just got a new home. Oh, why is this happening? I get so irritated. Is anybody commenting yet on Facebook? Let me see why all of a sudden I'm not seeing comments, like not even my own. What is happening here? Why is this happening? Why is you why is Facebook always just not nice? Maybe I have to use the app. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. Facebook is always wonky. Oh, I wonder if it's because there it goes. Let's see. Sorry, I don't mean to have my back to you guys. It's so rude, but, you know. Is anybody commenting yet? Are there? Oh, my gosh. There it is. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Judy. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Barb Ferguson. Hi, Lori. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Jan Star. Hello, hello, you guys. So... I'm super pumped about the project tonight. Um, like I said, it was something I slated to do a little further down the line, um, like next week. But we're going to do it tonight just because seeing how she was doing it and the ideas that I have for mine, I can't wait to see how it goes. So um, let's get this party going. So if you are just learning about Chalk Couture or you've heard of it but you're not currently working with a designer, please put a one down below in the comments. If you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please put a two down below in the comments and throw me some love. Also, if you are catching me live, please say hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, please say hashtag replay. Um, if you are joining from Facebook, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. If you are not currently a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you'd share. If you are a Chalk Couture designer, please don't share. I have a call to action in my video. Um, if you are catching me on YouTube, um, under the live video to the left of the live chat is that share button. I would love it if you would share it once again, if you are not a chalk door designer. Um, if you are on, uh, YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe. It is right next to the share button. If you did not even know I had YouTube, here's my channel. If you're watching on Facebook and you're like, what? Here's my channel. Go ahead. Follow it. Please turn it on. Um, subscribe, turn on notifications. When Facebook gets wonky, I can always go live on YouTube. Please don't forget to subscribe to that. If you're catching me on YouTube though, however, and you're like, oh, I would love to follow you on Facebook, Chalk Tour with Jessica. It's real easy. That is my name. That's where you're going to find me. I would love it if you'd follow me there. And while we're sharing social media, here is my Instagram. Same as my YouTube. It's Crafting and Stampin'. No G's because we dropped the G's in New Jersey. 
So let's get up here and let's share for everybody who is new. Let's share all about what Chalk Couture is while I get my cameras all ready over here. I think tonight I'm going to go on the bottom left hand side or maybe, maybe tonight we'll do a different one. Maybe we'll do it like this tonight. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Maybe we'll do it like that. That's pretty cool looking. Okay, let's see. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Kim Douglas. Oh, Kim, I'm so excited. This is your first time either hearing of Chalk Couture or this is you don't have a Chalk Couture designer. I would love to be your designer, Kim. Um, hey, Gabby, if you don't mind, can you put my VIP group in the comments down below for Miss Kimberly Douglas? And it's so funny, Kim, my maiden name is Douglas. Hi, Purple Paisley Planner. How are you? Hello, hello. Hi, Jenny Westfield One. I am subscribed, heard of this, but not sure of it. Yay! Jeannie, we are going to get you the information. Um, Gabby, if you can get that information into there, I would be super appreciative. Hi, Steph. Hello, hello. Let's go to the live now. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Drop the G's in New Jersey. Yes, Steph, we do. We don't ever, we don't ever have the G's. Hi, Jamie. Ruben, how are you? Hello, hello. Roxanne and Sherry. Is it Kasia? I hope I'm saying your name right. Hi, Denise. Hi, Roxanne. I'm doing great. Thanks. Hi, Carol. Hello, hello. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Annette Stevenson. I want you watch me all the time, Kim. I'm so glad. Thank you for that. Sorry, I'm turning my back to you guys. I know that's super rude. I don't have the room to move my table to over here. And if I move it here, I can't reach. I'm too, I'm too, my arms are too short. So I have to put it over here so I can see your comments. But we've got this, right? So, um, Yay, Jamie, you're super new. You just signed up. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so you guys, let me show you what the inspiration was. Oops, oh gosh, I have to dig it out now. What the inspiration was. Bub, can you stay down here and I'll give you this to take back up? One second. This was my inspiration for tonight's project. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, except I'm not going to do the buffalo plaid since I already have a buffalo plaid pumpkin like this. I'm going to do the woven plaid. Um, and the W, we've already got a W for Wilson, or welcome. Um, I'm doing the skeleton. So just so you guys see, this was my... Oh, okay, come on back down then, it's fine. That was my inspiration for the project tonight, okay? Hi, Roz, how are you? So keep that in mind. So it's so funny, like I said, that us designers, some of us have, like, very similar ideas. So here's the start of my idea tonight. Like I said... I showed you the pumpkin. Oh, ooh, that was that was a raw splinter. Give me a little butt head. Ooh, that got me good. Um, so this is the pumpkin that I have had for multiple seasons now. Um, I actually have been holding on to this, I think, for like literally two seasons, right? So um I needed to do something with it. So like I said, I bought that pumpkin at Kirkland's. The one I showed you, that was my inspiration. I was like, I can make something like this. And I actually got it before our catalog even went live. And I held, I, I had that, that little pumpkin that I just showed you. And I was like, oh my goodness. Once I saw the woman flat, I'm like, that will look so cute on this pumpkin. So I can have something on my back door, something on my front door. Right? So that's the idea that, that I got from it. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Um, I'm want to show you Tanya. So it's so funny because this was my, this is my, um, inspiration for the project that I'm doing tonight. Um, it's just so funny that Amanda happened to pick like very similar stuff. So I was cracking up. So I'm going to be doing the woven plaid tonight on my pumpkin. So that way I have Buffalo plaid on one on the front door, woven plaid on the back door. So that's what we're going to do. So I painted this pumpkin last night or the night before. So he, it's dry. It's been ready to go. The only thing I did not do was uh, wax it. And it's got to be waxed. It's a chalkboard paint that I use to paint my pumpkin because it was just a natural wood color. I know with all of the up and down I'm going to be doing with this woven plaid, um, it's going to it's gonna stick to the paint, okay? So I definitely want to go ahead and wax this. It is super raw wood. As you saw, I already got a splinter out of it, so that was fun, okay? So I'm just going to buff some wax into this. Thank you, Purple Paisley Planner. Cute. Where did I get the big pumpkin? Sherry, I got it. 
last year or the year before, but just message me and I'm happy to tell you where I got the pumpkin from. I still have the tag on it, so I can certainly tell you. Hi, Jamie Rubin. I can't remember if I said hello to you. Hi, Zuzel. Is this transfer so pretty? Hi, Corey. How did he turn the comments on? Um, I had to go into actually the Pages app on my iPad. Um, I couldn't do it from the Facebook app from my page. I had to go into the Pages app. Um, who asked me that? Hi, Nance. Debbie. That's how I did it. Hi, Shirley Has. Did I say hello to you? I can't remember if I said hello to you. Okay, so we got lots of wax on here. We should be good to go now. Yeah, I hate the way wax feels. Oh, it's the worst. And, oh, this wax, it's like straight up chemicals is what it smells like. Yuck. Okay, and it makes my fingers feel funny too. Oh, I hate it. All right, so this is going to be a, lo a longer project tonight too, guys. So um, hopefully you'll, you'll stick with me, okay? You're welcome, Debbie. Hi, Christy. Can you show the wax? Sure can, Jen. It's just min wax. It's natural min wax. That's the one I use. Mi paste finishing wax from min wax, and the color is natural. Okay? Do you guys like this setup where you see the big project on the left and me on the right? Or does it look wonky and you wanna, want me to go back to the other way? Let me know. Okay. So let's go ahead. Now, for those of you who are brand new and don't know why we're doing this, we need to label the back of our transfer, okay? So I am labeling the back. And the reason we have to do that is because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So I want to make sure when I'm done with this transfer and I wash it off and it's all, you know, Lysol wiped and disinfectant wipe all done and dried, I'm going to put it back on the carrier sheet. This is the paper side of the carrier sheet. This is the glossy side. You guys see that shine? That's the glossy side of the carrier sheet. You want to make sure that you are popping the carrier sheet back on correctly. Okay? Now, because I waxed, I am thinking I am not going to fuss. <clears throat> I'm hoping I'm not making a bad decision because I did... Uh, like I said, paint this. Like, I, I really hope it's not, I'm not making a bad decision. But I want to make sure, oops, hold on, you know what we got to do? We got to get this off. Hold on. Because I want to go all the way to the tippy top of my pumpkin. So. Get off, tag. Hoping I'm going to be able to get the knot off. Oh, I'm not. Got it. You won't beat me, not. Mm -mm. Darn it, I may have spoken too soon. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Ooh. Front door picked up motion. That's what that is now. We got a new alarm. Oh, gosh, I hope this is going to be okay because that is crazy bumpy. Okay, let's test this out now. Hopefully it's going to be big enough. Yeah, it is. Okay. And I am going with it. Okay. So I got it down. Now, here are the colors I'm going to be doing the woven plaid in. From what I understand, okay. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Oh, great. Thanks, Roxanne. Can't stay. We have a team meeting in a few minutes. Just went. Oh, Nancy. Mwah. Love you, girl. Thank you for stopping in. Okay. So I'm going to do one side in Regal, one, and then, well, I'm going to do this whole thing this first way in the orange peel. Okay. So we're going to put the, put orange peel all over this. Then I'm going to take a quick walk away from the camera for a hot minute. And then I am going to do it the opposite way in the regal, okay? So I just used a fine mist sprayer to quickly add some water into, did you hear how I said that? Water. Water! It's water, okay? I put some water into my orange peel to make it be a nice yogurt-like consistency. 
Now, I am going to hopefully be able to use this puppy. Sometimes, I think because I busted mine up because I put it on too tight, hopefully it's going to work for me to use this because this is a big area and I would like to get it done like lightning quick because I've got lots to get done tonight. Okay? So hopefully, oh, I'm hearing bumps already. I'm not like that. No to bumps. Oh, I'm hoping it's because it's overlapping my table a little. Hopefully that's all it is. Big Brand does love using this four-inch handled squeegee. I love it when I have a big area to get done. Like, it's super good for that. Okay. on going and this is a little awkward because I feel like I should be like good at being a lefty to do it on this side and I'm not hopefully I'm moving quick enough and it's not going to dry on me. And even if it does, I'm okay if it looks a little rugged. It's not going to be the end of the world. Okay. Oh! Kind of went off the transfer smidge there. And I will definitely take it on the comments in just a second. Let me just get this all done. Okay. All right, get the excess scraped off of your four inch handled squeegee. Okay. And let's peel it off. Oh, yeah. Guess what? That looks awesome. I just bled in one little area, and I am so okay with it. You have no idea. So that's how this is starting off to look. Now hold on one second because the little tag wound up hitching a ride. Please don't peel off. Okay. I oops. I will be right back. Oh gosh, I did not plot this out well. Let me go wash this really quickly. Hi Mel hi Melanie. Hi Melissa. Hi Tamitha. Hi Kim Conway. White spot on top. Yes. Hey Judy. Did you get your catalog yet? Is that up oh, different Judy. I'm so sorry. The view is very cool. Thank you. Gabby, did you hear? Um, can you put the V my VIP group link in here in the comments on YouTube? I would super appreciate it, girlfriend. All right, guys, let me wash this because we gotta wash it to be able to do the next section. So give me one minute. transfer. I just got to dry it super quick. Uh, well, 
Still on the shirt. I'm drying it. Hold on. I don't have the space over there to dry it. So I got to do it over here. But hopefully you guys are still hearing me. Okay. Yikes. Do not fold on yourself. On you guys I'm gonna just try one more way and then we are ready to rock for the next color which will be our regal over okay oh we lost some people okay hey rose oh thank you gabby you are the best hi Rose. Rose. hi thank you patricia barber oh awesome yes gabby vip group thank you so oh that is the link thank you girlfriend hi susan ken harvey isn't it so good hi debbie thank you sherry yeah white spot on top yes yes it's okay it's okay. You're not really, you're not missing much up there. Okay. So now we are going to repeat the exact same thing. I'm trying my best to use our self-healing mat to line up going across it. Okay. To make it be sort of straight here. Okay. Let's close up the orange peel. Boy, have I been going through orange peel so much lately. I've been using it on a ton of projects. Okay, got this done. Let's get orange peel out of the way. And we're going to use the Regal next. Okay, so we could put orange peel over there. Let's get a wipe. And let's clean. Oops. Is it, I, I was thinking, here's what, hey, we the Elliots. Uh, Barb, I was actually thinking that it might be really cool colors because I'm going to do, this is only the base layer of my project, you guys. There's still a second whole portion that's going to be going on top of this. Um, like I said, I have my buffalo plaid pumpkin in, my in the background that I showed you guys, which was my inspiration. And I thought it would look super cute. And it's just so funny that my my one girlfriend designer did the pretty much the exact same thing tonight, except she used a circle board and not a pumpkin shape board like I did. And we use different colors, too. But it's so funny, like, how we have similar ideas. I love that. I love it. I love it. Hey, Danielle. How are you? Hi, Linda. Hi, Jenny Johnson. Hi, Heidi Kennard. Hi, Dana. Hi, Amy. Hello. Hi, Teresa Patrick. And make sure you guys are saying hashtag live if you're joining us live, which if you see the red button, oops, it's going to be like over here somewhere, um, I think, for Facebook. I don't know where it's going to say it on YouTube. I think it just says live with like a red dot or something. Say hashtag live if you're catching the replay. Say hashtag replay. Um, remember to share as you're coming in. Okay. All right. So you guys ready? Oh, yeah. I just use Regal for projects that, for, you know how I do our, my sped up videos. I use this all today, these colors. I think you're going to love the projects that I, I made. And I'm kind of going with a specific color theme for this year. So hence the colors that I'm using. Okay. All right. Just making sure I don't hear any bumps because y'all know I don't like that. Okay. You ready? 
get some color, drop it down. Get some color, drop it down. Okay, feel like I'm singing a country song. Okay, this should be enough to get us started. Now, I literally just went over this to see if I saw any bumps in the silk screen area. And do you do you know I just saw a gigantic one? I'm like, really? In my brain? Really? Why you gotta do that to me? This four inch handled squeegee is awesome sauce. If you are, to, oh, I have a giant bump right down that center. Oh, womp womp. How did I miss that? No, I'm so sad. Well, hopefully it won't be totally noticeable. Okay, just need a little bit on this up here and this will be completed okay get that excess off and let's go ahead and quickly peel and reveal please whoops hold on you guys i noticed a spot that i totally missed really Here it goes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Other than this fact where there are some little bleeds. Oh, there's really a bad bleed over there. Oh, you guys. Yes, for sure the Halloween vibes. It looks so good, you guys. It really does. Other than where... Hey, Jen, Melody, how are you, girl? Hey, Jess, how are you? Hi, Julie Richter. Hi, Lisa Jurgens. Hi, uh, hi, Mary Spinelli. Hi, Catherine Green. I think I said hello to everybody. Make it. Oh no, there they go. Okay. Just logged on at the in time for the reveal. Yes, but as you can see. Oh, but you know what? I did wax. Hi, Jamie Rubin. I did wax. So let's see if it will be kind to me and come off with some water. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it does come off. Yay. But I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I am not even going to attempt to get off the, um, I'm not, I, I'm not even going to attempt that because it's just, it's just not going to be good. And these are way too close to each other. So I'm not even going to attempt it down here. It is what it is. But you know what though? It, I think it looks flipping awesome. Can you guys see it? What do you think? Hi, Miriam. Yes, Gabby for sure. Hi, Donna Mullen. What do you guys think? Just slap a bow over the bleed, right? Hi, Katie Kennedy. Hi, I miss you so much. Thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sherry. I just bought this pumpkin this week. Hilarious. Yes, Jen. That's awesome. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Hi, Monica. All right. So we had, like I said, we had some bleeds. It is what it is. For the most part, it looks amazing. Maybe I'll distress it. Maybe I'll just sand it up. Right here is where the biggest portion of the bleed is, though. So, you know, thanks a lot for that. It, it's fine. I'm not even going to mess with it. I don't, I'm not even caring. It's totally fine. I think it looks awesome. Um, hopefully you guys love it, too. 
Hello, hello, you guys. What do we think? Can I get some thumbs up, some hearts? Are we loving it? Are we loving it? Are we loving it? Now, wait till you see what I do next. This is going to be the super cute part, okay? Oh, Barbara, I wish I did. I have zero creativity. This stuff just makes me look good. I like to play with different colors. That's all it is. I like to test out some. Like, don't get me wrong. For the majority of the time, I use colors that match my home. But when it comes to this stuff, okay, um, I like to mix and match colors. All right, we're going to just pretend, like I said, that bleed isn't there. Now, I have this twine that I'll put back at the top. Now, we've got that part done. Now, we're on to the second part of this project. Right, Kathy? Distressing always fixes the mistakes. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Roseanne. How are you? Do you love it, Roseanne? Hello, hello, little Jane. Hey, Jen. How are you? Catherine Green says love. Good. I'm so glad you guys like it. Thanks, Joyce. All right, let's actually, let's go ahead and let's distress real quick. Let's see how this... See if it'll dingy it up a little bit and help take away some of the bleed. Actually, it looks really neat if I do it. Oh, I'm liking it. Oh, I likey, I likey, I likey. Uh, I got news for you. <sighs> oh, you guys. Oh, distressing was the way to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love when a plan comes into play. I'll just distress extra hard down there. Extra hard right there. Extra hard right here. So you don't notice it so much. I'll try to make it be around the bottom. So that way it looks like it was intentional down the bottom. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That was the way to go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. I did my chocolate paint. I'm thinking about doing Victorian skull. Ooh, the Victorian skull, Jen. Um, Kim Conway just messaged me. I will let you know. Hi, Mandy. How are you? Lake Sage says, dirty it up. Yes. Thanks, Jan. The rainy weather has been making me feel festive for holidays. I watched the video earlier. It made me feel like Christmas and this makes it feel like fall. You are so cute, Gabby. I love you. I miss you so much, girl. Okay. So we got this now. Okay. So what I'm going to do on top of it is this super cute. It's our circle boutique board, okay? Let's get this. Oh, there it goes. We're going to go ahead and get this open. I love our, our boutique boards, the circle boutique board and the square, because A, they're super lightweight, and B, they're super affordable. It's $9.99 only for this little board, and it's double-sided, obviously, okay? Now, I am going to, I probably won't hot glue it to it, I'll figure out a way to get it to stick, or I might E6000 it to be, you know, to stay on. Um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, hold on, you guys. I can't see. Thank you, Shirley Hess. Hi, Mandy. Okay, let's see. Oh, thanks, Miriam. See you later. Have a good night. All right, so now... We're going to do our super cute little, little skelly, little skeleton, okay? So let's cut this little cutie up, okay? And I am, I was looking at this the other day and I was like, how the heck do I put this together? But, pretty sure I got it figured out. I had to look at it a little bit. Like, I was like, why did they give me two spines? Why does one have a breastbone and one doesn't? Oh, you silly girl, because it gets put together like that. Okay. 
Now we are going to do, I was thinking I would have it, and I've, I actually saw, who did I see do it in from the side? I think it was Sage first. Um, actually, I saw her do hers from the side. And then it was cute because I saw Amanda do hers like that too. And I think I'm going to do the um, spine chilling is what I'm going to attempt to put on the side. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. Um, I might have to do the beware. Of, actually, no, I think the spine chilling might go across it like this. I think I might be able to get it to work like this spine chilling no you know what I might do the spine chilling on something else I don't know we'll see we'll see we're gonna play it by ear we're not gonna jump jump any guns okay I will say I want to have the little hand the little arm bone and the little hand okay am I gonna be able to get it I might have to do it I might have to center them Mm -hmm. I need a little hand. So wait, if I was waving on, if I was looking to do it like that. So I think it would be my, I think it would be this side. I don't know. I got to look at it. Hold on. If I'm waving, I'm seeing my thumb on the inside, but it would be, if I was mirror imaged, it would be like this. So my, yep, I was right. Yeah, look at me go thinking on the fly. How to think which way hand would look. Okay. That is not a long enough arm. What in the heck? I think it's going to have to go doot, doot, and then the hand. I think I have to use it twice. Hold on. Let's, con let's consult the catalog, shall we? Because I don't know how to put a skeleton together. Yes, it's two pieces. Yep, okay, good. Okie dokie. Oh, there went my catalog. Okay, so we're going to do and turn it up and use the hand. All right, so let's go ahead and let's label our pieces. So we're going to call this two. Bone two. We're going to call this bone one. Bone one. Left hand. And one. Skull. Um, rib cage. Sounds about right. Okay. So, let's go ahead and let's do this, shall we? Yeah. Alrighty, where's my towel? Where's my frozen cloth? Here it is. Alrighty, you guys still with me? What does your shirt say? Oh, my shirt. And it, you know what? I wore this the other day, but I swear to God it was washed. I just happened to pull it out again. It says, this girl lives on Caffeine, Target, and Amazon Prime. If that ain't the truth, in that order. Um, let's see. I love him. So awesome that you pose him different. Right, Mandy? So cute. Hi, Sharon Oaks. Thank you, Miriam. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get our pieces fuzzed up here. Okay. One, two. I love how dingy we made the pumpkin look. Ugh, I am obsessed right now. Obsessed. Okay. All right. Like I said, so, so funny how, like, designers, like, how we all kind of sort of think alike. I just think it's the funniest thing. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Norma. Hey, Sherry. I did not say. I did not say, hi, Siri. Hey, Caitlin. Okay, we're going to kind of off-center him so that way we can go up and down with his sweet little 
arm. Okay. All right, so I'm going to keep him there. Now, where's my bright white chalk paste? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's stir this up. I've got using the fine mist sprayer to add just a little bit of water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my consistency right there. That is it, you guys. Look. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Where's my squeegees? Okie dokie. All righty. Let's do our sweet little skeleton. Could I have chosen to use a smaller squeegee for this? Just out of curiosity. Why I used a mini squeegee, I'm not sure. And he might be, you know, a little sideways or a little crooked, but I did that on purpose. Please keep that in mind. And he's awesome. Alrighty, my little skeleton is looking super cute. Okay, we're already building. Now, keep in mind, since we're going to slightly be layering, we want to make sure that we are allowing our board to come back to room temp. This is where, whoops, that was still lit. This is where designers and customers have said, I don't understand, I can't get it to not peel off. It's because you need to make sure it's totally dry and totally back to room temp. And this needs a second. So we're gonna give it just a sec. Let me see if I have any other comments. I'm great, Caitlin, I miss you and Margie. I see transfer say, nah, I don't like it. Then you make it have to buy. I'm so sorry, Debbie. I'm so sorry. My goal every time we get a new catalog is to always make every project in it, whether I like it or not. And you know, I begrudgingly, begrudgingly do them, especially the flower ones. But I will say the flower bouquet from the flower market chalk stories is awesome. It was the best one I ever did at an event. Okay. Super cute. I'm going to have my little skeleton be like, hey, <laughs> it's a little girl skeleton now. She's going to be cute, 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 cute. Okay. No bumps, right? You love this. It is the cutest ever. Watch, watch, watch. All right, take your time. Oh, darn it. I just ran my nail right through it. So that probably won't be good. Just take your time peeling back. And you won't lose any portion of your of your um, layer. Unless you dig your fingernail through it like I did. You can see right where my nails were. How funny is that? Okay. Let's give it a sec. Oh, that's still wet. What's wrong with me tonight? Okay. All right. So we're going to pick up and move, pick up and move with our little uh, skeleton bone here. Okay. This is so weird. This piece feels extra sticky to me. So one project where the skeleton was laying down on the side along the bottom board as if posing like a model. How cute. It would totally be awesome on a sweatshirt, Debbie. Hi, Tony. You're a bit. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. Is this back to room temp? Yeah, it is. But damn, this one. Whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean to say that. Darn, this one is super sticky. Hopefully it will be okay. Okay, so I'm going to make the bone look like this. Okay, we're going to go side. 
like that. And then I'm going to quickly lift it up and move it. Get all that excess off. I need all that excess off because I'm not washing in between. Take your time. Okay, so we got that. I should probably do another arm, but I won't make the whole thing visible. We'll go off the board a little. So that way it doesn't look like there's no arm. Like there's nothing not happening over on this side. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, now let's put it up to look like a hand waving. Hopefully it comes out the way I'm picturing it in my brain. I get really bummed when it doesn't come out the way I, I picture it. Okay. So far, so good. I had a head injury. Just a little bit, right? Sing the bone song. The next bone's gonna. Ah, you're so funny, Rhonda. Isn't that funny, Judy? Okay. He's like, hey. So we don't need a welcome because my skeleton's waving hello. Hey, babes. You wanna take that pumpkin for me now? You like my skeleton? <laughs> Skeleton's like, hey girl, hey. Hold on, I'm thinking, yep, the thumb is inside. So if I'm looking outside, then my thumb is on the inside, so we're good. Oh, wait, that looks funny. Wait, if I have it back. Seeing my thumb. Yep, you're seeing my thumb closest to my head. That's right. All little phalanges. Gotta get chalk pasted up. I feel like I legit got a quick anatomy lesson when it came to, whoops, using this transfer. Take your time, peeling back. How cute! Look at my little scaly teen. All right, now it kind of looks like I need to do part of the rib down there, okay? Well, I mean, part of the spine, rather. There's, like, still a little bit of area left, okay? So we're going to say pelvis. Look at me getting all medical sounding. How about that? Oh, is this Benny from Halloween Town? Benny from Halloween Town! Like... From the Disney one. How cute. Jack Skellington. I was hoping. Hi, Diana McFadden. Hi, Peggy Angle. Oh, Rhonda, I'll tell him you said hello. You just finished watching Beth. Oh, I got to know what Beth did. I know, Diana. I know. I'm really trying to get on going back live earlier again in the evening. But we just had some, you know, errands to run and things to do. So it just did not work out right. You're talking about Beth's stamp, right, Diana? What did Beth make? My little girlfriend, Beth. Hey, Bubba, Rhonda said, was it Rhonda? Ron, Rhonda said hello. He said hello, Rhonda. Yeah, Bubba, let me see. 
Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very cool. <gasps> Yikes. I pushed a little too hard. Gotta take your time. There we go. It's okay. Took a little itty bitty piece off. Hey, Les. Right, Barb? Yeah, the skeleton taxi driver. Yeah, Gabby. Hi, Les. Hello, hello. All right, so we've got a little skeleton. Skelly, skeleton. I really think we need to add a, a phrase across. I feel like beware and the skeleton's waving like, hey, I think that would be kind of funny. What do you think? What do we think about that? <sighs> like beware. We'll do it in like, oh, I hear thunder. I think we should do beware across the skeleton. What do you guys think? We got him on the pumpkin. It's like he's looking out a window, right? Hi, Erica Simmons. Do we want to see beware? Do hashtag beware if you want to see me add beware. Hashtag beware if you want beware added across the skelly, skeleton. I keep saying skellington. <laughs> hashtag beware if you want to see it. If not, we could do something different. No worries. Oh my gosh, this is not going on straight, Jess. What did you do? There it goes. Let's see. Are we seeing it? I'm probably getting chalk paste all over. Have him say hi. You're so funny. Beth did the autumn vibes. Nice, Diana. Hashtag beware. Hashtag beware. Hashtag beware. Okay, looks like you guys really want to see hashtag beware. Yay. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Thank you, Sam. Kathy Toms, beware. And what color? Beware. I am thinking maybe the regal. Or no, you know what? The orange peel. I think because the regal is on top of the orange peel on the pumpkin here. Um, I think it's missing some of the flavor, if you will, of the orange peel. Or I could bring in a totally different color. We could go maybe a green. I don't have like a lime green. I could do maybe sage might look pretty. It's not, well, we could do sage and pull in a totally different color. Um, or meadow. Meadow is a, a nice green. What do you guys think? What color? What color? Orange and yellow ombre. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do yellow. I forgot about that. Orange and yellow ombre. I could do that. That would be cool. Orange, definitely orange peel. Orange and yellow. Okay. All right. I'm seeing a lot of orange. Beware in orange. Okay. So we're going to go just to orange then. We won't bring in Bumblebee since it wasn't incorporated anywhere else. Next time, Les, I will definitely do that, I promise. So we will put this guy in orange. Now, I'm being super gentle because this transfer is crazy sticky, you guys. And I'm actually kind of praying to God. I'm praying to the chalk gods that this occurs super easily for me. Make sure my chalk paste is good and... Stir it up. Okay. And we're going to make this happen lightning quick. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Okay. I'm trying not to push down hard. I'm, I'm not going to lie when I say I'm a smidge concerned, though, because of how sticky this transfer actually is. It's like crazy 
flipping sticky. Okay. Okay. Please, 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 please be good to me. Beware. Don't peel up my white. I'm really going to take my time, you guys. I don't care if it takes me like two minutes to peel this off. I'm taking my time. Eek! Look how cute he turned out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 my goodness. Can I send you? I absolutely can, Tracy. Purple, orange. Okay, well, hopefully you guys are liking this because I love it. It turned out perfect. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Look at my little, look at my little skeleton. He turned out perfect, like legit perfect. Oh, yes. So the beware on the pumpkin. All right, wait, hold on. I got to get my orange peel closed up because I don't have any other jars in my stash. So I can't let it dry out. And I need orange peel in my life. Okay. Do you guys love it? Oh, yay. Look at all the hearts. Thank you, Sherry. Hi, Magdalene. Oh, thank you. Hi, Patricia. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy Toms. Thanks, Barb Ferguson. Thank you, Kathy Ryan. Oh, thanks, Jan Stahl. I love it. All right, so let's finish putting it all together, right? So do we want to... Hold on. I got to get some of these pieces out of the way because I'm going to wind up getting chalk paste all over my shirt. So let's try and put them here. So we have some things we can do. I'm thinking maybe I am going to glue. I think I'm going to use some, not mini glue dots, but some of the bigger glue dots. And I'm going to pop dots. I'm going to pop dot it onto this. Now, I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Let's add this little sweet little door hanger back on. And yeah, you know what? I don't think I want to do it because this actually would even look super nice for Thanksgiving. So I don't want to make the skeleton be permanent on there. Or I could and then do the Give Thanks pumpkin and use it again. Oh, you guys. I don't know what I should do. I don't know what I should do. Hold on. All right, so here is this cutie. Here's our pumpkin. Here's this. Let's find some pop dots. I just seen them earlier today. Where did I see them? Here we go. Here's our big ones. These are the fat dots. These things seriously stick. Thank you, Lori. I'm wondering if you could use the transfer for the other pumpkins on the big pumpkin like that. That's a great question, Judy. I'm not sure. What size is the circle? Diana, it is our 10-inch circle round. Do they give do the give thanks on the back? Absolutely. I think I well, I could always just wipe it off and do the next one. And then that way I can keep this on here. Okay, ready? Let's try to line it up somewhat. And then, oh yeah, there it goes. It's on there. It's on. Okay, now it needs some ribbon. Okay, that's what I think. Let's see. 
Okay, let's see what ribbon I've got. How about... Ooh, I like this. How about we do... Ooh, 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 wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, I sound like... Who's that guy? Mr. Carter. That guy. Let's do some of this stuff. Hold on. Got to get this out of the way. Put it over here. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I'm going to have to put you over here. Oh, boy, do I have a lot to wash when I'm done. Okay. Chalk on the back to make a change for autumn. Absolutely could. Absolutely. If I can get the glue dots off. Usually the glue dots, once they're on, they are on. Um, let's see. Okay. So, let's do maybe a little something like this. So a little, a little, not even anything fancy. Come on. No, I'm just doing a quick little bow, you guys. Let's get, hold on, and then I know I want to use some of this. Play around for a sec. See how I can do this. Let's see something here. Hmm. Well, darn it. It's not working out the way that I had hoped. Okay. So let's go and do our good old fashioned. Jump boo. Hi, T. Fousey. Command strip. Yes. Absolutely could do that. Oh, no. Did we lose sound? Hey, Vicky. Oh, oh, the, well, see, the stem already has some ribbon. Yes. So I totally could do that. But... I was going to try to do a little something different. Okay. I feel like it needs. Hold on. I'm scooting back for a sec. I'm still here. Let's see. Let's see something here, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Let's try this. I think this will look so cute with it. And this is how we can make the pumpkin be a Halloween pumpkin for now. And then we can change the ribbon and the message for Thanksgiving. Bang, bang, boom, done. Okay, and how I can incorporate the raffia into it is I can make it be what ties it together. Okay. There we go. Okay, hold on. I know I'm not doing this, and I apologize. I'm not doing this onto the camera, but I promise you'll see what I'm doing in a second. Only because I'm a little afraid of pulling crazy tight with this. Because you know, the raffia is not happy to be pulled tight sometimes. 
now we'll pull in this. Got it. My little junk bow that Miss Sage taught me how to make. I think it's going to be a cute one. I'm hoping it is. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I gotta be careful because guess what? Bang! It's coming apart. Okay. Got my little bows. Okay, let's make this be an even bow. Come on. <gasps> Did not mean to do that. Okay. Go on. And then we'll keep these guys a little. We'll go just on an angle with this one. And just on an angle. Oh, I went the wrong way with the angle, but that's okay. Nobody's going to know. And then we could put it just like this. What do you guys think? Put it on there. We can put it up here. You guys like it? Oh, yeah, I agree. Ah, I agree, Barbara. Thanks. Thanks, Jamie. Donna Mellon, super sing cute. I might. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Roz. Hi, Desiree. I forgot that your Thanksgiving is after Halloween. Is our... Yes, Diana. Ours is after. Yes. Might keep her in wind chimes. Sorry. Mandy, I am. You know what? We hardwired our ring, like our video thing. And now, anytime there's motion, you hear wind chimes. It's so crazy, right? Um, hi, Cindy. Came back. Had to talk to a dang Victorian school and something. You are so funny, Jen Maloney. Hi, girly. How are you? Okay, hold on. I got to get this picked up because otherwise, we're not going to be happy. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Bought a bunch of green English sends a dollar to be used on my projects this week. I always love to get projects. Agreed. I agree. All right. I think I am in love with this. I think I absolutely love how this turned out it looks adorable for sure do you guys love it hold on let me pop dot it down and then i'll show you hi rosemary <laughs> i know it's funny mandy i know it's too funny okay oh god this is just sticking right to my fingertip okay let me come on back live to me oh maybe i probably should put it well it's good enough all right let me just get off to me and get this out of the way go live and then i can show you guys how do you like it how do you like my beware pumpkin do you love it with our woven plaid in the background and my sweet little beware skeleton who's waving hi i love it you guys love it. Throw me some hearts. Share the video if you're not a chalk store designer. Share, share, share. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Marie. Base of the stem would be nice. Yes, that's what I'm hoping you, it looks good there. Yay, look at that. How cute, right? Thank you, Judy. Awesome sauce, you guys. All right, so I've got a ton to clean, so i got to make this quick. If you loved the projects that I did tonight, or the main project that I did tonight, and you are not currently working with a designer, I would love to be your designer. Comment me down below, and I will message you the link. What? 
message you the link to my VIP group. In my VIP group, I have tons of things going on in there. I have special offers, bundle deals, try me kits, intro kits, my monthly chalk box subscription that I do for my customers and over 600 chalk tour videos. So I pray something will be bound to bring you inspiration. So if you're interested, comment me down below. If while you were watching, you said, you know what? I would love to have um, the amazing business in a box. And let me shut that off so I can put this up there. Uh, the amazing business in a box for only $99 US or $129 Canadian plus tax and shipping. It comes with five three ounce chalk paste, seven chalk transfers, a small squeegee, a 12 pack of thank you cards, an apron, a board and base, a 12 pack of chocolate chips, um, the beautiful catalog, and a 9 by 12 porcelain steel aid and magnetic chalkboard, as well as the readme kit. If you are interested in building building your own empire, okay, and you want to hear some specifics about it, I would love for you to comment, join down below, and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single thing you need to know in order to make an educated decision about joining not just Chalkatour, but joining my team. I want you to be in the know, and I want you to be super happy with the decision you make so that way you can go on and build your empire. So, Last but not least, if you are waiting to get your hands on an amazing right to your doorstep um, monthly subscription service, look no further than Club Couture. Club Couture is a three month minimum subscription service. It includes a, ex, an exclusive size B transfer plus three chalk paste singles every month right to your door. That transfer cannot be gotten anywhere other than by Club Couture members. It is only $19.99 US plus tax, $26.99 Canadian plus tax, free shipping, you guys. It's free shipping. Now, um, also, once you join Club Couture under me, you will also go into my private chalk... Um, Facebook VIP, uh, Facebook Club Couture group, where I make an additional three projects with our current Muds Club Couture every single month just for you guys. Now, after you add Club Couture into your cart, you will have the ability to purchase this month's Club Couture. Because if you join in August of 2019, your Club Couture does not start until September 5th of 2019, followed by October 5th and November 5th, both of 2019. Um, so you can get this super cute looking sharp transfer um, once you have Club Couture added into your, your cart. Then, not only that, you'll have the ability to get our awesome Kickstarter kit. You do not want to miss out. The Kickstarter kit is amazing. It is $69.99 US, $93.49 Canadian. It's valued at $76.94 US or $102.49 Canadian. You do not want to miss out, you guys. Um, it comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel 8 and magnetic chalkboard, a board and base, a two-pack of board erasers, a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, a small squeegee, and a multi-tool. Do not miss out on getting that. Comment club down below and I will message you that link, okay? So I really, really hope you guys loved my project tonight. I absolutely adore how this turned out. The woven plaid, the spine chilling, um, and our awesome 8-inch or 10-inch round boutique board. What an awesome combo on my super cute pumpkin. So I hope you guys love it. Grab it out of my store if you're interested. Um, it is in the comments down below for both, I believe, Facebook and YouTube. Um, I thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow night with a su another super fun project, okay? Take care, guys. Bye.